สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone my name is Maggie and this is another episode of Ask and Modify in this episode we have another Supra And when you pop the hood, you will see a 2JC in it. It's gonna be white PS1 followed by PS5 black to cover it up and then PS31 will be for the windows. Even though the car comes with the light buckets, but these chrome light buckets are really nice. It's gonna be sitting on A110 Sakura D4 rear wheel drive chassis. I was gonna make a new M drift chassis for this video, but I haven't even started yet. So I will save that one for later. We're doing something different in this video. We're using MST carpet drift tires. And we're gonna use a gyro. We have an ESC. 13T motor, steering servo, pin and gear, transmitter and receiver. And we're still missing things guys like the wheels and the battery. You guys can buy these from icmart.com. And of course, things will change throughout the video. I'm gonna start with the chassis. I'm pretty much done with the chassis for now. I will install these later. Moving on to the body. As you can see, the wheels are coming out a little bit too much. This wheel came with the Sakura D4. I got two millimeter offset wheels. Let's try them out. We've got magnet body post. This body post is too high and it's on the rear windshield so I'm gonna move it to the trunk over here. And I got the parts printed out. I'm gonna change the tires. Got hot water here. The tires is just too small for the rim. I'm using the old tire, but I'm gonna put it in this way. Oh, 
FSGC5 transmitter and receiver. It's time for the gyro. I'm gonna keep the body pretty simple, no cutting for the grills. I'm gonna use the stickers to JC. The chrome light buckets don't actually fit, especially the front headlights. The tail lights uh, might fit a little bit, and I have no other choice because the body doesn't come with the tail lights. It's time to cut the hood out. Cut on the outside lightly. Cut a second time a little bit hard. Now I'm gonna cut on the inside.
pass out and LED light system. There isn't any masking tape for the tail lights, so I'm gonna use this tape instead. And it is ready for paint. Now I have the engine bay and permanent markers.
I'm gonna clean up the overspray around the body a little bit. I'm using aluminum tape to tape the headlight to the body. I use hockey tape to tape the top part of the headlight. Because this area is not flat, so I'm gonna use a glue gun to build up some plastic here and then press this area onto the body mount. I'm gonna cut this piece off The gyro has a plug with one signal wire. This one will be to adjust how much it will help you turn the wheels. I'm gonna put this on channel 6.
I'm gonna need two more lights. And of course, I'm using the 12 pin connector. Next, I'm gonna make the turn signal light buckets. The sound is not the best on this one, so I have something better. Power, throttle, horn. To update the sounds and everything, you're gonna use this S-Link USB.
So after listening to a lot of sounds, I think that these two are good for muscle car sound, you know, the V8 sound. For regular four cylinder or six cylinder cars, that's just not that great. There is a Supra sound in there and it doesn't sound like a Supra at all. So I'm using this GT Mustang sound. It is the best sound in my opinion and I will probably use it for other cars too. It also shifts guys a lot better than this one and I also hear the blow up valve sound what I have here is a switch with a servo I'm gonna use this switch for this wire It's time for the stickers.
lastly, I'm going to make the front stretch bar. I also have a bunch of stickers from screenprintdigital.com There you have it guys, a white Toyota Supra. I will list it for sale with the kind of price that I will pay to keep it on the shelf here. I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful. Thank you and have a nice day.
Right.